guys and welcome back uh, today I will be teaching you guys how to make coffee not only that instant coffee so remember a couple weeks ago I told you uh, I taught you guys how to uh, make sorry how to boil water so today we're gonna put it to use so you boil off the water like I told you last time oh there it goes there goes the water so, you grab some instant coffee. I'm gonna put about a, oops, drop it. Okay, then you grab, and then you pour it. And there you have it guys, instant coffee. It's gonna be uh, delicious. I hope it's easy enough for you guys if you have any questions nah, I'm just kidding I'm kidding so today we're gonna make some big city pasta with big city pasta with Frida and um, we're gonna make some big city pasta and Frida showing you her breakfast uh, anyways we're gonna make some big city pasta and some chicken chicken some breaded chicken. Um, it should be fairly simple. Uh, it takes a little bit of time. It's not difficult. It just takes a little bit of time because uh, you have to cook the pasta. And it's not difficult. It just takes a little while because you need uh, to let the um, sauce cook off for a little while. But other than that, it should be fairly easy. So we're going to start off with cooking uh, the pasta. Then I'm gonna do a whole box, a whole um, 16 ounces. Um, yeah, just water. Put it to boil. Uh, once it's boiling, make sure it's boiling. Put the um, salt in there and uh, give it about eight to ten minutes. So we're gonna do that now. Water. Don't fill it up too high because once you throw the pasta in there, it will overflow. Okay, so we put the water to boil. Don't forget to cover it. It'll boil much faster. Now our water is boiling, so we're gonna put some mostacholi in there. Okay, but before we do that, we're gonna add our salt in there. And now our pasta. We're gonna let it cook for about eight minutes. Okay, pasta done. We're gonna strain it. Uh, it's al dente, not too soft because we're still gonna keep cooking it. We'll start making our sauce. Okay, we're gonna start off with onion. There we go, minced. It's about a third of an onion. We're gonna also uh, use three cloves of garlic. Okay, then we have the garlic nicely minced. Okay, so here are ingredients for the sauce. It's gonna be Italian. Uh, style sauce, any sauce will do, any tomato sauce, a little bit of a uh, tomato paste, I used the small one, uh, diced tomatoes because I like uh, chunks of tomatoes in there, we're going to need about half a cup of onion, uh, about half a cup of ricotta cheese, and the garlic, we're going to use some butter, and uh, that's pretty much the list of things that we need for our sauce. Okay, so I have my butter going. We're gonna put the onion in there. You wanna put the onion in there, Frida? Yeah. The onion, get the onion and let's put it in there. We're gonna throw that onion in there. You wanna throw that onion in there? Yeah. Just be careful, don't get burned. Yeah. You want me to do it? Yeah, it's Okay, so we throw the onion in there and uh, we're just gonna wait for it to get nice and translucent. Um, we're going to throw some salt on that onion so it'll get, uh, start making it sweat. And okay, our onions is, are nice and translucent, so we're going to add the garlic in there. You want to add the garlic in there, Frida? Okay, and now the sauce, we're going to add, uh, the sauce, the tomato sauce. Okay, then we're going to add the diced tomatoes. Mm, finally, we're gonna add our 
tomato paste. Tomato paste. Okay, give me a second. Our tomatoes paste is in. We're gonna turn it all the way up and uh, maybe add a little bit of water and let it simmer for a few hours. Yeah. After that, we're gonna start uh, seasoning it. Okay, we're gonna add a little bit of water. Okay, so now we're gonna season our sauce. We're gonna use some oregano, plenty of oregano, some pepper, some parsley. We're gonna turn it down because it's boiling. Some parsley, uh, salt. And we're gonna add some honey. This is some honey that was brought from Mexico. It's uh, not the kind you buy in stores, but you can use any kind of honey. You could even use uh, some sugar. Some people like sugar, so whatever you like, go ahead and use it. Okay, so while that's uh, cooking, um, I'm gonna start preparing some chicken. I'm gonna make some, uh, just some breaded chicken should be simple enough. Uh, so we're gonna need an egg, some milk, some breadcrumbs, and uh, some flour, and that should be it. Okay, so here's my setup for uh, breading. I got chicken and milk, I got flour, I have eggs, and I have uh, some breading. Now, I'm gonna add to the breading, I'm gonna add salt, Italian seasonings, black pepper, a little bit of oregano, and that is, oh, and garlic. garlic. Gonna add some garlic, uh, powdered garlic. And that's pretty much it, that's all you need. So, uh, let me teach you guys how I bread. Okay, here we go. So, you grab your chicken, throw it in there, make sure it has completely been covered in the flour, throw it in the egg mixture, same thing, make sure it's completely covered, and last, you just put it in the other one, make sure it's completely covered, and bam, you got yourself some breaded chicken. There you have it, there you have it guys, chicken is ready to go. So we're just waiting on the sauce, and uh, then we'll fire these up. Okay, so sauce has been going for a little while. It's nice and thick. We are ready to uh, turn it all the way off, and we're gonna add the ricotta cheese in there. Okay, turn that oven on at 350. 350. And we put the pasta together now. Okay, so I buttered my pan, uh, just buttered it all the way around. Okay, and now we're going to layer, now we're going to layer everything, uh, little by little. We're going to add half of the pasta in there, okay, spread it out. We're going to add half of the sauce, half of the sauce, move it around, okay. And then we're going to add some of the Parmesan cheese. We're going to slice it up in there. Okay. There we go. I like a lot of cheese, so there we go. We're going to add some of the mozzarella. Okay, and then we will add some more pasta. And we will add the rest of the sauce. Okay. Make sure to try to spread it out.
mm, go and then do it all over again pasta I mean sorry cheese and then the parma, uh, mozzarella cheese Parmesan Okay, and that's ready to go. Our oven is ready, so it's time for it to go in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, we're gonna make sure to put it on the top rack. Now it gets a nice brown color. And now we wait. Okay, so I got my pan at a high heat because we're just gonna uh, cook the chicken to give it a little bit of color and a little bit of crispiness. Um, so let's go ahead and put that on there. Let's go. Let's see. Yeah. That's it. And we're going to put that other one just for a couple minutes. Uh, then we're going to take it out once it has some color and throw it in the oven now that we have the oven on. Okay. Chicken is nice and crispy. So we're going to take it out, put it on a pan. other one in there and it is ready to go in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes or till it reaches temperature over 165 degrees so let's see how that's oh yeah that's coming out beautiful okay there you have it guys it's uh, completely done um, I wish I would have bought more cheese but it's cheesy enough should be good enough and there's the chicken now uh, let me plate it up for this little kid and we're ready to eat. Okay, there you have it guys. He's ready to go. Big city with some breaded chicken. How you like that? Alright, there you go. Eat up boy. See him try it. Yeah? You like it? Alright, so... Now he's gonna enjoy his food and uh. This takes, are, this takes to a no, a whole new level. A whole new level. You heard it from him, guys. Okay, there you have it, guys. Uh, big city with uh, breaded chicken. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys try to make it. Um, yeah, well, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button, that notification bell. <laughs> and uh, just let me know anything you want me to make. I will make it for you guys. You can either comment or uh, send me a message. So, yeah, just let me know, guys. Take care.